Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.2 and Heat Blur Simulations AGS 37 Vigan Module. Welcome to tutorial 13, Mark 71 General Purpose Bomb DYK Mode. In the previous tutorial we uh, demonstrated the plan mode of the Mark 71. This is the, the kind of more standard level release mode with some uh, sub-modes, including CCIP and Direct. Today we're going to take a little look at DYK, which is the dive bombing mode, uh, a kind of precision mode usually for dropping your bombs, although it has two sub-modes labelled Precision and Quick. These modes can be employed with both the high and low drag variants of the Mark 71. Uh, however, the, the difference is uh, well, actually, kind of the accuracy, really. In precision mode, you're going to use full triangulation with radar ranging. In quick mode, no uh, radar ranging is used. It's, it's a very, very basic mode. And the difference in employment is that for precision mode, you switch the aircraft into attack master mode. And for quick mode, you're remaining in nav and simply unsafing the trigger. Again, here you can see the maximum possible loadout of the Mark 71. Uh, we've got uh, four bombs on a rack on each pylon, and those pylons are two, three, five, and six. And that's giving us a maximum possible loadout of 16 weapons. And here is the low drag version of the bomb. You can see there's no probe on the front and no parachute kit on the back. Uh, but the employment in this mode is the same for both types of bomb. The system will uh, kind of make adjustments for that. As in the previous video, I have a formation of vehicles at waypoint B2. So we're first going to start off by specifying that as a target. For precision mode, you must have a target fix. For quick mode, you don't need anything at all. You can attack any point on the ground. I'll first demonstrate precision. This is the pre-planned precise mode. So we're going to go to tactical mode on the CK-37, switch it to input, and we're going to enter 9 and then B2. We've now defined B2 as a target waypoint. Next thing we're going to do is actually define a pop-up point as well, because um, it's easier to accurately employ this weapon with a pop-up point, in my opinion. Because you're normally going to want to ingress the target at kind of low level and high speed, uh, but in order to do a dive attack, you're going to want to come down from probably more than a thousand meters. That's normally how I've been doing it. And actually, for this attack today, we will we will pop up to one thousand five hundred meters, and we will only begin the attack once we're five kilometers from the target and begin to dive down. Then, so for this, I'm going to do a pop up of one niner zero degrees and a distance of 10 kilometers. So in tactical input mode, I enter one, niner, zero, one, zero. So one, niner, zero degrees, one, zero kilometers, and I press B2, and that's me now defined a pop-up point for B2. If I go back to output and back to actual position and I select B2, you'll notice that it is actually indicating U2, which is my pop-up point. So note that the steering cues that I get on the HUD will direct me towards the pop-up point, However, the heading on the central indicator and the distance indicated here are in fact to the target, so that helps us reference that. Uh, next thing is to take a look at the weapon selector. Let's uh, adjust my camera just a little bit. Uh, so last time we were seeing the plan mode for bombs. Uh, this inner ring has the different modes. You have plan, uh, you have DYK, and you have RR. Today we're going to do DYK. So let's move the selector to there, and we're now in that mode. As before, we can select the interval between our bombs. I'm actually going to leave it on 15 meters. That's a perfectly good setting. Uh, and as is generally the case with these bombs, we're going to leave it in series. You do have the option to drop individuals, but uh, in my opinion, that's a little bit pointless in the Vigan. So we're going to leave it in series, and we're going to pull and hold the trigger for the complete release. Uh, next, we'll set up the kind of cockpit indications. We want QFE set for the target area, which I happen to know is 1010. If we check the, the knee board, we can see it here, QFE 1010. Uh, we want the HUD in uh, F mode for low level attack, and I'm going to leave my altitude reference as the, um, the radar altimeter, because we're going to be flying at low level initially. Uh, and then I usually would have the HUD in the low position, but I'm going to leave it in the high position at first uh, because the nav symbology is actually 
uh, hard to see it first. You can see it's quite high up on the HUD right now. So I'm going to leave the HUD high, and then when I do my pop-up, I'll drop the HUD into the low position. Apart from that, there's not too much more setup that we need to do here. Uh, so I'm going to leave the camera about here. We're going to begin in nav master mode, and we will only transition to the attack master mode once we hit the pop-up point. So let's uh, come out of active pause. We're going to go... Let me see here, zone 1 afterburner, and initially I'm going to descend to 100 meters on the radar altimeter. So let's get the aircraft down into our kind of low level, and uh, let's get ready. Pop-up point will come up quite quickly, especially at this kind of speed. So this is all going to happen fast, uh, but if necessary I will pause. Also note, actually let me pause here just now, you'll note that we actually have this little range indicator here. In the nav mode, this appears when you are less than 40 seconds away from the attack. So just be aware that at first you might not have that, but it will then pop up later. So we're going to continue to fly to the pop-up point, and then we're just going to wait for that uh, switch to M2 on the, uh, the waypoint indicator there on the right. It's going to happen about now. Okay, we're now M2. I'm going to switch attack master mode, and we will pause very quickly just there. So yeah, we notice that the waypoint indicator switched from U2 to M2. That means we know that we're now indicating for the target. Target is indicated by this, this ring. Uh, you'll notice that the poles for range indications have appeared, as always, and there is a pipper. However, right now the pipper is way up above the HUD, uh, and that's okay. That's because of our speed uh, and the current configuration. What we're now going to do is we're going to do a, a fairly aggressive pop-up. We're going to get ourselves up to at least 1,000 meters. I'm actually going to aim for about 1,500. And I'm going to roll the aircraft inverted and pull it back down towards the target. Now, as with pretty much all the other modes, we're going to want to put the pipper in the target circle or on the target if the target is not quite where the target circle is before we then unsafe the trigger. Note that unsafing the trigger redefines the target location. So you want to make sure that pipper is stable and as accurate as you can make it before unsafing the trigger. So, oops, no, that's the wrong button. There we go, let's go. We're gonna go fairly aggressive up here because by uh, five kilometers, I want to be in a position to begin my attack. I'm gonna roll inverted here and start coming back down. That's probably a decent enough altitude now. Um, target is off to the right, so let's maneuver and see if we can get it in the HUD. Yes, we can get it in the HUD, and I'm going to drop the HUD into the low position now. I'm actually going to maintain altitude for just a little bit longer, and now we're going to come down. I'm going to get my pipper on the target. Actually, I'm going to pause just before I unsafe the trigger, so you get a feel for the symbology here. Altitude in meters is on the left. That's coming from the radar altimeter right now. These vertical lines are just helping us with our alignment. The fin here lets us know that the radar is active for radar ranging, and it has a good return. The dot is our aiming pipper. The circle is the target location. It's actually more like here. It has drifted slightly. And then we have the normal uh, timing indications here. Currently, no bar. Shortly, a bar will appear, and it will count down towards these outer markers. Two seconds before release, the bar will flash. And then when it's time for release, uh, the, the aiming pepper will have wings. At that stage, we will pull and hold the trigger while the weapons are coming off. The circle will then actually indicate a steering command that the system wants us to commit. Um, so we'll follow the circle, and then we'll get felled last eventually, letting us know that all the weapons are away. At that time, we should do a 4G pull-up to avoid getting ourselves into the frag pattern. Uh, if we end up too low, these vertical bars will actually be dashed and flash, and that's our warning that we really, really should pull up now, because we're getting ourselves into a dangerous position. So, this is going to happen very fast. Let's see if you can follow. Trigger's unsafe. Continuing dive down towards the target. We have the bar. Flashing. Wings. Trigger is held. We're pulling up. Filled last, and we're away. Let's pause very quickly. Uh, actually, let's attitude hold and pause. And then we're going to have a little look at the weapons here. I'm going to pause the camera there and unpause. That was spot on. So you can see that this um, 
this dive bombing precision mode is far more accurate than the than the kind of level bombing modes that we demonstrated in the previous tutorial. It's much easier to get hits in this mode, uh, and you are still minimizing your exposure to the target because you'll do a low level ingress, pop up, dive, and then immediately pull away. Uh, so, you know, as long as there's not some advanced air defense, it's fairly safe. Oh, the aircraft's completely out of control. Fantastic. At least we didn't crash. So let's pull out of this incredible dive. We're going to re-safe the trigger. We're going to return to nav master mode, and we're going to fly outbound. I'm not even sure what the warning is here. My aircraft was not happy with that maneuver. In any case, uh, that's us. We're on our way out. So uh, that's the entire demonstration of the precision mode for the system. I'm going to reset the simulation, and then I'll demonstrate quick mode, which is almost exactly the same. Okay, I've reset the simulation, we're back in the aircraft, and let's go ahead and set up for the quick mode. Uh, most of the setup is, is basically the same. Um, I, I, you don't actually need a target fix, but I'm going to make one uh, simply for my own reference. So, uh, computer in tactical mode, input, enter digit 9, press B2, and B2 is now a target position. I'm actually going to select that waypoint as well, and it's indicating M2. I'm not going to bother with any kind of a pop-up point this time. I'm going to do it all manually. And again, weapon selector needs to be in the position for DYK, bomb DYK. Uh, we're going to leave it... Actually, maybe we'll go for 20 meters this time. 20 meters intervals and series. Uh, and that's all the setup done. Uh, this time we're going to leave the computer in navigation master mode. We don't need... Uh, to use the attack mode. Well, actually, we can't use the attack mode, otherwise it'll go into precision. Uh, I'm going to have the HUD in F, uh, radar altimeter as the altitude source, QFE set to 1010, and we'll just have the HUD in low mode, because for, for this, it's it's not going to matter so much. So the, the procedure is going to be basically the same. We're going to fly inbound towards the target uh, manually at low level, once I get to, I guess, 10 kilometers, I'll pop up manually and then dive towards the target. Once I've visually identified it, because this is going to be completely visual this time, I'm going to flip the trigger unsafe and I'm going to leave the pipper on the target and wait for the same release cues that we had in precision mode. Very important to note that in this mode, we have no radar ranging. The system will use basic triangulation only. And because of this, the QFE must be accurate, otherwise we're going to be off with our attack. So I know the QFE for this area is 1010. With that programmed, it should be uh, close enough. Other thing to note, although I've not covered it in previous videos, the system does have a target motion analysis mode, where if you're moving the pipper to follow a moving vehicle, the system will actually take that into account. By default, that feature is off in the CK37 computer. You can enable it. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. I'll make a bonus later where I cover that system. But note that in quick release, that system is inhibited anyway. You would only be able to use that with the precision mode. So let's continue inbound. Uh, so for this attack, I'm just flying the, the HUD symbology and the central indicator, and I'm waiting for the range to reach the point at which I will manually pop up. I'm not going to use any kind of a pop-up point here. I'm going to go zone one afterburner just to maintain the speed because we'll lose a bunch of speed, of course, on the way up in the pop-up. I just set my reference altitude there, so I've got symbology for the altitude I want to fly. Now let's see if I can make all of this work. This time, it's completely um, dependent upon me being able to visually identify the target. So uh, if I have to, I'll pause so that I don't mess this up. Approaching 10 kilometers. We have the bar at the bottom of nav mode, so that's our indication that we're within 40 seconds of release. I'm going to pop up. I want to come at least 1,000 meters. I'm actually going to go for more like 1,500. And we're approaching the distance that I wanted to be at. I'm going to roll the aircraft inverted so that I'm not doing anything too nasty to the engine. And I should have eyes on the target. I do. I've got eyes on the target. Right. So I'm going to hold the target low in the HUD for now because uh, I want to get a bit closer before beginning the dive. Right. That's probably more like it now. Going to dive towards the target. Trigger is unsafe. 
I have the pipper. I'm going to hold the pipper on the target. Range indication coming down, flashing. Wings, I held the trigger and I'm pulling away. And let's pause. Let's follow the bombs again. Pause the camera. And let's go. See what I got. Yes. Very good. Basically the same result again. That was uh, super effective. So even in quick mode without using the radar, you're getting uh, a pretty accurate attack here. That's looking very nice indeed. But we've effectively destroyed basically all the targets. One is damaged uh, and one is untouched, uh, but the rest are completely destroyed. So that was fairly effective. Uh, I'm going to go... Um, weapon uh, trigger safe again and we're immediately back in master mode uh, sorry in, in navigational master mode this time because we we didn't use attack uh so we could now uh navigate to the next waypoint straight away so those are the two sub modes in dyk otherwise known as dive bombing mode for the vigan you have precision which requires a target fix point and you have quick which you can do anywhere that you can point the uh, uh the the weapons pipper basically uh, both of them are very accurate ways of dropping bombs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of further supporting the, the channel by joining Deep Hacks Ground Crew for a small monthly fee by clicking the join button below. Thank you very much those of you who've already done so. Your names are appearing on screen now. Uh, there are some small benefits other than just knowing that you're supporting me in creating this content. Uh, you get to join Deep Hacks Ground Crew Discord where we all interact with each other. And we also, on a kind of semi-regular basis, we do some flying uh, together as well in DCS. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time.